Well, I'm Greg Utes. I teach music composition here at PLU, and I also have the great uh, luxury and joy of teaching some world music classes, and in fact, doing a lot of study abroad with students. And what's nice about that here at PLU, Liberal Arts University, is that I get to mix all these things up together and it all influences my music. So this is the score. It's based on this Lutheran chorale tune, which in English we know best as uh, O Sacred Head Now Wounded. Selecting this one tune, I was thinking about the title, O Sacred Head Now Wounded, and I was thinking about um, uh, all the people who've been waiting at home all these years while their loved ones were in harm's way in various war theaters in the Middle East and Central Asia. So for in this piece, this tune takes on this, this uh, quality of beginning in, in a kind of a, a wistful, lonely sort of way as though your thoughts are just beginning to think about this person. You're going through your daily life, but you constantly have this preoccupation of, of the danger that your loved one is in. And we hear snippets of the tune, and, and then there's some sort of ghostly um, things that, that come in, and then some saxophones begin playing the tune in a very beautiful way, but then it's sort of taken over by the brass in a dark, threatening way, almost as if anxiety is sort of welling up and then receding again. And we hear the, the, the beautiful saxophones again, but again surrounded by sort of ghostly stuff. And then we, we get a kind of a crushed, sort of stomped version of the tune as though it's almost in pain, almost in danger, uh, played in the trumpets. And finally, after a, a number of times, we get the full band sort of howling out this, this, this chorale tune in Bach's most extreme harmonic setting of it and uh, there are bells ringing and, and things are almost flying out of control and then suddenly, whack, that all stops and just rings. And in the silence we hear the saxophones again and the upper woodwinds and the ghostly things. And then finally we get to hear what we've been waiting for the whole time, which is the beautiful version. That which sort of brings peace, brings calm, but there's still ghostly wisps around it. And then finally, at the very end, we're left with just kind of vague echoes. And we're almost back at the beginning of the piece, and the last thing we hear in the percussion is just this gong. It just rings and leaves us with this sort of ambiguous, questioning mood.